Cole, you drive 50 laps any way you want them. And then you do 50 laps like I want them. Now you did them like you wanted and your tire's sitting over there blistered. Now we're gonna do it my way, right? We're gonna take it easy. You do it my way for 50 laps. Noted. Let's do it. This one's for you, Aaron. this goes. track yeah. what are you thinking okay so the track's, the, the track's right. super slippery uh -huh. so you're not going to be able to punch it all the way through like i'm like half throttle and then like at the end of the straightaway you can kind of click it full throttle at the flag stand you can click it just for a second but then you have to roll off and let the car come and then you have to catch it you have to catch it and then find that where that edge of the throttle is where the car is at its perfect arc and then you have to hold it there and you'll feel the traction. If you go over that, you're gonna spin out. Yeah. And if, you're if you jump around. the draw, it's gonna tighten up. So you have to find that edge and then hold it. And then you'll feel it. And then as it as it gets gains traction, you can roll on the throttle and it's gonna drive where you want it. If you just you cannot do this because the bar is gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's not gonna know what to do. Okay, so I just took the car out for a few laps and the track's definitely a slick condition. Um pretty much maybe a just under a half throttle through the center, uh, about three quarter throttle down the straightaway, and might almost full throttle, just just past the flag stand and then roll off coming in. So Sunny's got a lot to learn today. She's got to learn how to use a clutch. We're gonna go over all that. And then she's got to learn how to roll this thing. It's gonna be a lot different than our American stock. It's a lot different feeling. So a lot to go over. Let's see what happens we'll here. All right, we'll see. You know, this is gonna be a lot different than the car you had before in that you drive a lot more off the rear end on this thing you're going to feel it and yeah. the throttle is going to dictate what the back end does okay it's important for you to when you go in to roll in the corner like it's nice and smooth and the car is going to whip on you pretty good you need to catch it you need to catch the car with the throttle at so the feel the car as it moves yeah as it as you need to pick up the throttle you can't just let it it'll just come around if you don't pick up the throttle so you need to pick up the throttle and then as it, when it hits that arc you're going to have to use the brake uh -huh. okay i don't know if you use the brake in your american stock or not but you're definitely gonna have to use the brake a tick just to set the car a little that's bit that's going to be different too i if i need to get off the gas i just get off the gas instead of braking it yeah with the brakes in the american stock it will just make you like slide up and right. i know you have to use the brake on this and you can adjust that brake over there see that right there righty tighty so if you feel like you want it tighter oh, going yeah, in the corner so i should probably get that two turns in right now why don't you do two turns to the right get off don't touch the brake when you're doing it though there just do that because it was a little bit loose going in go. okay so that'll tighten the car up a little bit going in and then like i said it, it's really going to be you're really going to have to work on holding the throttle at like a set point of the maximum like traction okay that's important you don't do this because if you if you pump the gas and the brakes the bar is going to jump up and down the car's not going to know what to do and it's just going to be a bad feeling so the whole thing about this is hitting your marks being smooth and letting the car roll in and roll out with the maximum traction that you can get. You can get some good traction off the bottom. Like, like you can go through the middle and then coming off the bottom, there's some decent traction. So you can do that, but you're not gonna be able to just punch it. You're just gonna haze the tires. Okay. You'll see what that feels like. So you wanna find it, that maximum grip spot, we'll right? See. Okay, it's so we gotta learn how to use a clutch too, right? Yeah. So remember, it's a uh, st so start off. That's neutral. No, that's reverse. 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 Oh, it's in reverse right now? I thought it's in neutral. No, that is in neutral. Don't and touch that one. Don't touch that one. No, don't touch the inside okay, one. Don't touch it. Just on the other, all we're talking about is those two, and you're going to go forward is third, back is fourth. Is it in? That's is third. Forward? That's Yeah, that's forward. That's neutral. That's fourth. Oh. But you're going to start in third, okay? And I want you to learn that. And then later I on. start the car in third? Do not start the car in third. Start the car in neutral. Okay. And then you're going to push in the clutch. You're going to put it in third and let the clutch out. 
and just let it out nice and slow, but don't burn the clutch up. Okay. All right. Let's let's get your helmet on. Let's go from there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you in the clutch right now? Yeah. Let the clutch out. Nothing. Okay. So push the clutch back in. Push the clutch in. Now push that thing forward hard. Go. Now you're good. Okay. Don't let out the clutch so hard. You have to ease out of the clutch. Okay. Okay. So pull it back. Do it again. You're letting it out too fast. You're letting it out too fast. Oh, there goes nothing. Hold the throttle all the way down. Radic. Yeah. Like my car, this, my American stock seems like a Cadillac compared to this. Right, but that's because you're not smooth on the throttle. You're, you're mm. herky jerky on it, dude. Listen to the motor. The motor should be smooth. It should be like, Wah. you know, when I was out there, how you, it didn't feel like. Am I almost hitting the wall over there? Um, like when I get on the gas, it goes. Close. No, you're not even close, dude. You're, you're hanging it out on the bottom. You're probably going to hit one of the tires, if anything. So move up a little bit on the, on the track. Okay. And then, so, and then look, remember what I told you. When you come to a stop, put, when you're coming through here, Put the car in neutral, let it roll forward, and then you can pull the thing back in neutral so you're just coasting, okay? And okay, then so when I come in here, put it in my clutch in. How am I supposed to, so I put the clutch in when I'm trying to shift it in the fourth? Yeah. You push that, so like as you're going? I was pushing the clutch as the brake. You were? I figured that out, I did it once. Okay, so we need you to, but it's important though, like I need you to learn how to use the clutch right, because you're gonna burn the clutch up if you don't do it right. I know, that's okay? what we do. So get on the throttle, like as you, you know how you have to give it gas, you feel what that felt like, okay? And then, like I said, when you come to a stop, otherwise you're gonna hit an official or you're gonna hit somebody, dude. So you have to hit, be in neutral so you can stop your car. Yeah. Okay, because you can't stop it when it's in gear. Well, you can, you're gonna stall and then someone's gonna hit you from behind. Okay, so work on being smooth, move up a little bit on the racetrack, get off the bottom, and you felt the edge, right? You spun out right there, okay? So keep the wheels turned to the right and then keep the throttle smooth, dude. Okay. okay. And then roll on the throttle. You're not rolling on. You're on, off, on, off, on, off. That's what the motor sounds like. So you're going to have to learn how to be smooth with everything. The clutch, the throttle, everything. It's a lot different, dude. Okay. 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 okay.
So we're taking a little break because look at what I did. <laughs> I somehow managed to pop a tire by myself. Um, these tires are super old. So I think that's the reason why. Like, look, that's not, I don't know. yeah. So we're getting that changed. We're gonna go out for one more session. I think I'm finally getting in the groove of it. Um, learning a couple things. And I think this session is really good. Dad? Yeah. Good? Yeah, so we lengthened the right side bar. We dropped a hole in the right rear and it came down one inch on the rear inside of was the panel bar. That so. tire popping, was that because of me or was that just because it's old no, tire? No, I think it's a, you see the cap came off it, although it might be scraping. See, you took the whole cap off it. Oops. So we just got it hot. I don't know. We'll try it. I did a couple donuts earlier, so that's probably the reason why. I just want you to hear the motor. I just want you to see like the attitude of the car. And also what he just said. But it's actually the other stuff too. So, I'm gonna go up there. Can you give me the hands? Let's see how it goes. Yep, right there. I know exactly what I was doing wrong. I had way too much gas into it and that just confirmed my suspicions. So I know you were frustrated, right? Yeah. On the last run. And I don't want us to leave. Uh, I don't want us to leave so we're like going that. Back out there. And I just want you that's why I wanted you to see like that I'm going around like quarter to half throttle, you know, and the car has pretty decent traction. And so when you these cars sometimes slower is better. And you just got to be smooth and slow. I mean, not slow, but like smooth and steady. You can feel the rear traction. And so I want you to understand that. I don't want you to leave here thinking like, oh man, I can't do this. I can't do this. I know you can. So we'll try it one more time. Cole, you drive 50 laps any way you want them. And then you do 50 laps like I want them. Now you did them like you wanted and your tire's sitting over there blistered. Now we're going to, now we're going to do it my way. Right? We're gonna take it easy. You do it my way for 50 laps. Noted. Let's do it. This one's for you, Harry. All right, so Sonny, here's the deal, dude. I wanna see you go around here. Don't go anything over three quarter throttle. And I don't want you to dump the gas. I want you to roll out and keep the try to keep the car up on the bars. Okay, that means try to keep a little bit of gas in it so you're not dumping the throttle, right? Yep. Okay. Noted, we're gonna do it. Okay, you don't get frustrated. Smooth, right? I promise this is what we're gonna okay. do. You were two tenths faster and you didn't spin out doing it I my know. way. I went maybe went a little bit too low sometimes. Well, I feel like you were probably going a little bit slower, but you could probably work on going a little bit faster, right? Because now you know. Well, now I know how to actually drive the car. Did it feel a lot different? Yeah. See, so you could do it, dude. And it spin out, so yay. Right. I mean, like I said, I think you'd be surprised too, like, you know, how, like, the, you know, it feels probably feels like you're going slow, but it's probably not as slow as you think. So. I feel like I was coasting it, but well, dude, sometimes you gotta roll. But sometimes you gotta roll through the middle, dude. That's what it's all about, you know. But you definitely look. That's the best you looked all day, dude. Today. Take a look at that. Now I'm no longer discouraged, but just a little bit, but not as much. Right now you understand, right? Now I know. Because you have more power than the tires can hook up. Yeah. So. It's a lot different than the old American stock. Oh yeah. I know. I'm gonna take away ever calling that thing a piece of junk. <laughs> My little baby. I can't wait to get back to her.
But I had fun in this. I'm kind of excited now. I'm more excited than I was originally when I was spinning out 12 times. I almost spun out, but I didn't this time. Yay. Right. But did you feel it? Did you notice that you were getting more traction though? Like, did you tell that you're like yeah, moving forward like, even though the motor's not turned over I a ton? Tell. I think uh, it would help when I'm with other people, like when I'm doing that. Cause like when you're by yourself chugging the bottom, you're like, okay really so but then when you have some guy just like sailing it in the top and you're hanging with them you're like oh my god look so right. this is the land to be in yeah it's hard to tell but i think but i mean that's just help. this track is bone busted dry as you could get dude this yeah. is as bad as it, it is gets after saturday night race. But this is as bad as it gets at baker Trail speedway dude it's in the middle of the day here and it's just dry and dusty it doesn't get any more crack out. it doesn't get any more drier than this dude it's already starting to crack so it is what it is but hey at least now you know where the edge is and now you can work on it, right? Oh yeah. Now you don't have to be intimidated about spinning out every time. Now you understand. Now, now you're going to have to change it because you're going to come back out here and the track's going to be hammered down and you can almost go around the track without lifting. Now you? that would be interesting. Yeah. So don't, don't think you're going to do this when it's hammered down, but now, you know, I mean, you started on the hardest track and so now hopefully the easiest will be more easier to obtain. Yeah. So there you go. So I'm here with Scott. He's the promoter and owner of Bakersfield Speedway. And he was kind enough to let us come out here and figure out how the heck to use this thing. So big thank you to him. He always puts on the best shows ever. Yeah. So if you ever want to come to an amazing racetrack, yeah. this is your man. Last night was really place. good racing too. Oh yeah. Right. All the divisions had really good racing, right? We were yeah, talking about that, Scott. It's always a great event, the McGowan Memorial. And yeah, last night was super cool. Oh yeah. Have to thank all the fans, racers, crews, the people that came out and supported us. So, yeah. and hey, I'm excited to see you uh, climb in this thing oh, on yeah. a race night now. We'll Look see how it goes. Yeah.